Good evening. Our big story tonight, the humanitarian crisis unfolding at the southern border. Customs and Border Protection says for the months of March, they expected to make more than 100,000 apprehensions at the border. That's the highest toll we've seen in a decade. And here in Arizona, the feds are dropping off hundreds of migrant families every day because they don't have the people or the space to handle them. Now, lawmakers are looking for ways to deal with the crisis in our backyard. Team 12's Bram Resnick spoke with Senator Martha McSally about this today, and he joins us live in Studio 12A. Bram? Yes, Senator McSally brought together the people who've been dealing with this mushrooming crisis for several months. They agree the crisis will get worse before it gets better. And that's just one of the three takeaways from their meeting. We've got to make sure we streamline and we can do the best we can to help out these individuals. Arizona Senator Martha McSally calling an all hands on deck meeting at Phoenix's ICE headquarters. Immigration officials overwhelmed by the migrant surge, meeting with elected officials and faith groups who are taking in those migrants in Phoenix. Because this is happening today uh, and tomorrow and the next day. Here are three takeaways from the meeting. There needs to be one drop off point in the valley. Faith and refugee groups can help migrants more efficiently at one location. 12 News has learned Veterans Memorial Coliseum at the state fairgrounds is a possibility. McSally wouldn't commit to federal help, but later in the day, Governor Doug Ducey suggested the state could pitch in. Well, we're working with the federal government and doing everything possible that we can. For travelers, wait times at the border could get much, much longer. Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen on Monday ordered the shift of up to 2,000 officers who staff border crossings for cars and trucks to areas hit hardest by the migrant surge. The line's already backing up at the Arizona border. At San Luis near Yuma, a two-hour wait at midday Monday. It was just 30 minutes at Lukeville, that's the road from Rocky Point, but at the heavily traveled Nogales port, a 100-minute wait, more than an hour and a half. And at Douglas, the line 70 minutes long. Whether it's the, the Easter holiday or the summer breaks where people go back and forth, that's going to slow down. And as well as some of the day-to-day -day commercial traffic will be impacted. Finally, most participants agreed the migrant surge at the border will only get worse. Recent history shows it peaks in June and July. Three border facilities for migrants are already more than full. Yuma is at 149% of capacity, McAllen, Texas at 174%, and El Paso is buried at 283%, three times capacity. And President Donald Trump plans to visit the U.S.-Mexico border on Friday. He will tour a 30-foot section of replacement wall installed last year in Calexico, California. Let's send it back to you. All right, Bram, thanks.